Davies arrive, my lady. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. An impressive building. Skarhan do though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. What a curious object. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Please follow me, Master David. Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. There is no denying it. We are family. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you. But Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. This way, sir. <laughs> it does that sometimes, sir. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. 
I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. This is a piece of a model. In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Hmm, not many matches left. Ah, just what I need. I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. Later. Hold on. What's this? My faithful friend, Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. We meet again, old foe. A dumb waiter.